Hi everyone, I'm Jake from Simple Elite Traders. Today I'm going to do a special video for cryptocurrency market. As I can see, there's quite a lot of anxiety and fear from certain crypto investors. Last week we saw some heavy selling on cryptocurrency. The first news was Elon Musk stop accepting Bitcoin for Tesla. Second news was China trying to ban some uh, mining businesses. I've been investing on cryptocurrency since 2016. Certainly, this is not the first time bad news happened in crypto market. I personally think we are going to see challenges continuously on the crypto market, such as government try to regulate it more or impose some tax system into it. Obviously, I saw a lot of people posting on social media saying that they don't know what to do with the crypto holding as they are losing a lot of money. If you understand the behavior of the crypto market, I see this as a beautiful correction and use it as a buying opportunity rather than a game over for cryptocurrency. I also see a lot of people said they want to buy the dip but don't know how to start. So today I'm going to show you how I use technical analysis to help me buy the dip. I'm always very comfortable buying at a correction so that way I can hold on to my position until my target. I'm going to start off with a Bitcoin chart. The first most important thing that you need to know is which time frame to use. I like to use a weekly time frame when I do investing on cryptocurrency. Okay, so now let's start back at 2020. We see the correction from 2017 and it ended in 2020 and went on a very bullish run through here. Now, the heavy sell off was the last two weeks. Okay, I like to use history as my reference for my investing. So let's go back. A few years and see where we can see something similar back in 2012 2013 went on the very bullish run and then it corrected until 2015 and went on another, another bullish run okay so now pay attention if the 2013 bullish period went on a correction and then 2015 went on another bullish run. I see this is a correction period like the 2013. And now from 2020, it's quite similar to where 2015 is. So current precision, this correction could be like the 2017 summertime. And then, as you can see, from 2017, it went on the, the last leg higher until December 2017. So therefore, potentially we could do something similar from here. There's another reference that I want to show you that I use for investing. It is from my good friend's website called marketmadeclear.com. So the things that I want to show you is the seasonality. So it captured all the data since 2013, so eight years data to show you what the typical seasonal behavior for Bitcoin. As you can see, we usually goes a bit sideways or a bit choppy around April to sort of July time and then slowly picked up and the real move start in October until sort of December time, correct, okay? So this is a good data as an indication for me to uh, do investment on cryptocurrency. There's other useful data such as the commitment of traders on Bitcoin, which is quite advanced and detailed. So I'm not gonna go into too much of it at the moment, but usually when we do the weekly market update, we'll provide you insight when we see anything significant on the COP data. So back to the Bitcoin chart. So if we are predicting the current correction is like the 2017 summertime, then 
how we use technical analysis for investing. I'll drop down to a uh, daily to show you. So currently we are actually in an accumulation area. Why would I say that? You can see that's two lines is drawn here. We like to use support and resistance as my buying area. Reason being is when you saw around the 28, 30,000 level, that's a little resistance, smash through, came back. We always draw attention from buyers. From this 30,000, we went on to the move up to 60, 63 through this area. Again, the last couple of days, we can see buyers around the 30K area. Okay, so I did accumulate some around the 35,000 area. What I like to do is if price stay above here, then I will accumulate more. And if price doesn't stay above this level, then we could heading back to around the 20 something thousand area, which coincide with the last old time high back around 2017. When price smash through old time high, require a lot of buying momentum. So therefore, if price came back to this sort of support and resistance area, will draw attention to buyer. Therefore, I use this as my guide to buy. And it's very difficult to say, oh, where is the lowest? So therefore, do not buy your 100% in the 35 or 30,000 area. Always trying to allocate some backup funding in case price drop lower. Or if price confirm you are correct, smash through back above the 40 thousand forty two thousand area then you can accumulate the remaining balance of that the most important part on investing is price so as long as i get an average price around the 30 something thousand i'm pretty happy to sit on it until sort of end of december which i'm planning to sell most of it i'm not going to sell all of it some of it i will keep it for a longer hold you know for keep it for 10 years whatever because when I sell off in December, most of my holding is the market's money. So kind of like a free pocket money for me anyway. Therefore, I'm very comfortable to put it for a longer term period. We are building an empowering community. The main purpose of this is to support our members on the investing trading journey. One of the members asking me to look at some of the coins that he's planning to invest. So I'm very happy to help. If you're interested to join our community, I'll drop our social media link below on the description. Thank you. So some, one of the coin that he's asking me to look at is Ethereum. Of course, Ethereum has been very, very bullish uh, since last year, 2020, gone from $100 to $4,300, $400, so yeah, it's really, really, really bullish. So same thing, we're going to start off with the weekly chart, weekly time frame to have a look where we are at. Okay. Similar things. Crypto is the same category of asset. When Bitcoin dropped, Ethereum did have a sell off last two weeks. All right. So big sell off last week, particularly probably caused by news or fear, or whatever it is. Again, I see that as a uh, buying opportunity. So let's understand where we are at currently. Okay. Let's go back using history. Ethereum, when started on the data, is 2015, went on the bullish run, corrected pillar period until 2016, then off it went again. So, we, if this is correction period similar like the 2016 to 2017 so from 2018 to 2020 that's a correction period similar like here this current bullish run could be just that having a little pullback and off it went again therefore i see that still room to go higher how are we going to use uh, again support resistance as our guide to buying the dip 
I was accumulating around this 19,000, 2,000 area, okay? Because there is some heavy selling through here, so we could see price just hovering around this 2,000 area here. I don't want to buy too much more at the moment, so I might, you know, wait for a few weeks. If price continue to hover around, around the 2,000 area, I'll buy some more here. If price decided to smash through, if anything could happen in the market, then yes, around the $1,200, $1,200 area, I would be happy to accumulate some. If price stay around here, 2000 buy some more and decided to break above maybe the 3000 area happy to buy my final bit and hold it until maybe december same plan i'm going to sell quite a large chunk of it and we will look for another buying opportunity the reason why i said um i will sell i won't hold it is just my personal preference on my plan because cryptocurrency volatile very violently so therefore you know although i am long-term bullish i like to sell some in profit and then look for another buying opportunity okay another one that my uh, members that asking me to have a look at is ripple ripple uh, the price action behavior is uh, not the cleanest, I have to say, but yep, it's, uh, we can still use the uh, technical analysis to help us plan how to accumulate. So again, everything went very bullish since, um, you know, last year, 2020. The uh, only thing is on Ripple, as you can see, it has not broken the old time high which is around the three dollar isn't it good, going to do that in this time run maybe we shall see but certainly bitcoin and ethereum both has broken the whole time high meaning that there is a lot more bullish momentum on that two main coins rather than ripple so in this case it's not, i'm not saying that you shouldn't invest on ripple my personal plan is if i see more money flowing in into Bitcoin and Ethereum, then obviously my portfolio allocation will be more on the most bullish coins rather than the one that hasn't broken no time high. So if I'm going to invest on Ripple, my allocation will be a little bit less. So now same thing, we're going to use a weekly chart, go back into history and see anything that is uh, relevant. Uh, Ripple started in 2013, went up and down, so like a correction period through here, perhaps it's quite similar, like, you know, from 2018 to uh, 2020. So now, if the 2020 is like the 2016 current move here, 2017 here, and the current move, right, 2020, could be quite similar. Let's have a look at the time frame. Yeah, it's around April time, which is now we're in May, you know, quite similar timing. We can't use it as an exact timing reference, but similar time, April, May. And it went on a bullish run in May, correct a little bit more in June, August, and when again until sort of January. So dropping down to a daily or even in a weekly, you can see there is a lot of interaction that was the 70, 80 cent area was the resistance support here. Now we're drawing attention of buyers. So there's some buying activity right here. So it wouldn't be a bad area to start accumulate some around perhaps today's bar, maybe dropping down around the 80 cent, 75 cent area. If price drop below more, maybe around the 30 cents area to accumulate a little bit more and again hold on to it till December time and cash out so this is my plan for three of the coins okay I know the members is asking me to look at few other coins I hope from this video he has learned something and then he can try and do himself and send it over to me and we can have a look have a chat and see what I, my feedback would be because at the end of the day 
my purpose for Simple Lit Traders is teaching people how to fish rather than provide the fish on the table. Because at the end of the day, I see a lot of uh, other providers saying that I'm going to give you trade signal, you can follow my trades and etc, etc. If you don't understand why you invested on it and you don't even have a system or a plan and blindly following someone, do you think that would create a lot of pressure when price volatile? I personally think so. Therefore, teaching the basic of what I do to other people, hopefully that way you have much more confidence in yourself, in your investment and capitalize the market when the market allow you to do so. Another interesting news that is from CNBC, I saw my hero Ray Dalio started investing in Bitcoin. Of course, he's not going to put in a large percentage of his portfolio into Bitcoin. What I learned from him, diversification, putting a small percentage to hedge your investment is always a wise thing to do. So I never put 100% even though I'm confident with my system. That way I can sleep better and also let other investment to do their return and hedge my risk accordingly. So very good to see you guys again. If you have any question, please give us a comment or drop us a message. We're more than happy to help you. We're in the middle of building some of the technical courses into video content and building our empowering community. So follow us on our social media channel. We'll do our very best to keep you updated. So until next time, happy trading, healthy investing. Thank you very much.